Okay, so I need to add shows, and uh, I'm going to use the GigPress plugin. Um, GigPress is spelled G I G P R E S S. So if you'll just search for that in the plugins library, uh, make sure that it's activated, and then you should see the menu item just above the theme options. If you click on GigPress, uh, it'll be brought to add a new show. Um, so you just fill in the uh, details. It's pretty straightforward. Um, 11 9 p.m. Uh, this may be blank for you, um, and so just add a new artist. Uh, venue, likewise, I'm going to add a new venue, um, so it just flies out like that. Live Lounge, uh, Ottawa, venue address, 124 York Street, uh, country website, uh, venue phone not applicable, pa -da 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 -da. admittance, uh, no minors, and uh, the rest can pretty much wait, I guess, tour. Um, hmm, I'll just add a new tour, we'll call it, um, I don't know, Ontario, don't really have a tour name right now, but that'll work for now, uh, if I want to add a new post, um, we'll call it, like, CD release, or, sorry, Live Lounge, Ottawa, CD release, there we go. Uh, we'll publish on the show date. Er, pub, yeah. So, add show. Uh, and that's now in the shows list. So, if I click on shows, there's the new gig, Ottawa. Okay. So, uh, if I needed to add other artists, say uh, I'm a label or an agency as opposed to an artist, you can populate uh, all the artists that you're representing in here. Um, venues, if you're in a habit of playing the same venues, you may want to pre-populate them here and then they'll be available in that drop down for the add show page. Um, tours, um, you may have a European tour, uh, an Ameri a USA tour, um, and that allows you to group your shows by tour uh, and display them in various template positions. Uh, settings, let's have a quick look. Okay, full URL of your upcoming shows page. So. Um, this would be the website slash shows. Uh, if I want to customize the messages for the widgets and such, I can just rewrite them there. Um, user level required to use GigPress, that's on the back end. Um, if you've got a team, then you know select the user level that's appropriate for your project. Um, date format and um, time artist label. Uh, I might want to call this, say, bands instead of artists or DJs. Um, likewise with tour, that could be used for something else. Uh, in the context of festivals, I've used it to um, group shows by day. So it's a week long, you want to see shows for Monday, there's a tour for Monday. There's a tour for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so forth. Um, if you want to get in real deep, the documentation from the original author is great. You just go back to your plugins uh, menu and look up GigPress. And you'll notice that all the plugins tend to have this visit plugin site. So if you open that in a new tab and um, go to their documentation page, it's great. You've got all the uh, short codes and uh, you know instructions for the widgets pretty in-depth anyway let's throw this into our sidebar uh, we'll need to go to appearance and then widgets and we'll see um, in our bucket of available widgets gig press right here okay I'm gonna expand my sidebar I'm gonna drop that uh, on the top here. Okay, now I can customize the title, uh, the number of posts, uh, only display shows from a particular artist or a particular tour, a particular venue. Um, you can group them by artist or by tour. Uh, you can even include iCal feeds and RSS, which is pretty cool um, for people who are hip to you know RSS subscriptions or um, booking dates into their like calendar on the iPhone or whatnot. 
Um, so I'm just going to save this. Uh, group it by two, I'll say. Save that. And I'm going to go find my sidebar. So I'll start loading the home page. And where are we here? No. Um, it's going to be under pages, I suppose, and that sidebar there. So there's the upcoming shows. Um, not a whole lot of detail. Uh, you do have some flexibility in what gets displayed through that widget there. Um, so if I were to say, not group, um, display what kind of shows, save that. Does this give us, and we've got, yeah. So, might uh, get some further developments on that with the next upgrade. Uh, until then, next step would be adding it to an actual page. So I've got uh, a shows page here, uh, where it shows a more detailed calendar, um, links to the related post, um, which may include a flyer. Um, by default, it'll add these attributes to the end of the post. The space above underneath the main title uh, would be where you can post a flyer or a little blog or something more. Um, going back to the shows page, uh, this little plus sign allows me to book it into my Google Calendar or download an iCal file for my iPhone or Outlook. Um, you got the venue, country. Um, let's go back to settings. Um, so we're going to go back to gig press, menu item, check out settings. And um, 24 hour clock. See here, this is the related post info before the post content, after the post content. Uh, are using this little short code which you can add into a specific place, uh, be it in the middle of the post or in a corner, what have you. Um, default category, ah, we'll want to make that shows. Um, if you don't have a category created for it, you can do so under um, the post menu, under categories there, and just click on uh, add new category, fill that out down here, bang, and then it'll get listed into uh, this drop down. Um, place link on the shows related posts in the following fields, so I'm just going to go for all of them. Uh, let's save that, and then when I go back to um, the shows page here, these three, like the city, the venue, the country, should all link to uh, the related post. So there's Ottawa, which links to the uh, related post. Okay. If you have any questions, just send an email to support at epkosin.com or refer to the documentation available on the official GigPress website by uh, visiting the plugin site through the plugins library by searching for GigPress and clicking that blue link right there. Cheers.